Okay, I wanted to go back over LIFO and FIFO and some of the ways that we can word these questions. So one of them is this, the inventory costing method that reports the earliest costs in ending inventory is what? So let's look at these words. We have a purchase, a second purchase, and a third purchase, and these are in the order in which we purchase them. So if we said what's the newest purchase? Well, the most recent one is right here, January 30th. That's the newest. The oldest is January 1. Most recent also means newest, so that'd be January 30th. And the earliest means the oldest, which is January 1. So if you just think about it in terms of dates, it's a lot easier to realize what we're saying here. So let's talk about FIFO, first in, first out. So the first in is the first one sold. So January 1 is the first one that we would have sold because it was the first one in. And so ending inventory is left with January 12th and January 30th. So it's left with the uh, most recent purchases or you could say the um, newest purchases. And then in LIFO, last one in is first one sold. So we sold the one on January the 30th because that was the last one that was in. So what's remaining in ending inventory? Well, it would be January 1 and January 12th. In other words, it would be made up of the oldest or the earliest costs, which are January 1 and January 12th. So let's go back and read this question now that we've gone through that and looked at examples. The inventory costing method that reports the earliest costs in ending inventory. In other words, the oldest costs would be LIFO because here it says ending inventory is made up of the oldest or the earliest costs because we used last in first out. So hopefully that makes sense of some of these words like newest, oldest, most recent, and earliest, which is how they describe these purchases.